everybody, today I'm just going to do a very short sort of review video on the MAC Times 9 palettes. They released these as part of the permanent lines, so you don't have to rush out and worry that they're going to sell out um, because these are now permanent products. I'm really pleased about that and I'm going to tell you why. So, I've heard a few people say that the pigmentation in these palettes is not great, that there are some very pigmented colours and some not so pigmented colours. News flash, that is the same with any MAC shadow. If you go to a MAC counter and you swatch things, some of them swatch incredibly beautifully and other MAC shadows are something of a letdown. Some MAC shadows perform better with a brush than they do when they swatch by finger and that is just the way it is. So sometimes what I'd recommend is that you ask at the counter, can I just use one of your brushes? Or you take a brush of your own, a clean brush, or I don't know, will they let you do that? You're gonna have to ask, but maybe just check that out and then you can try the brushes, finger swatched and brush swatched. Because sometimes, like the Kelly Osborne quad, there was a lot of chat about that was rubbish and it wasn't worth getting. No, it was the Rihanna one. And I have that over here. So there were some reviews saying that this was really quite rubbish, the colours were very poorly pigmented and they didn't swatch amazingly by finger, um, though they are still quite nice and I'm really glad I've got it because I'm a Rihanna fan. But when I actually used them with a brush they actually performed so much better and that's what I'll say about any kind of products. You've got to kind of see it in person if you have any kind of doubts. Now so in these palettes you get nine shades. There are some permanent line shades in here and then there are some pre-released shades that were limited edition and some new shades. And I really love these. I think they're amazing size for travel. Yes, I know they're small. They are the size of an ordinary MAC quad. That's one that I've made up myself. And um, yeah, they're, they're not huge shadows and everybody was like, oh, 30 pounds for this. But you know, you pay it. £42.50 for this. <laughs> so why not pay 30 for this? You get nine shades and to be fair I have loads of MAC shadows and um, vanilla which is in this one. I always open this one the wrong way. Vanilla, this one here. I use this one so much. I use it to death and it's got a huge dint in it but I am yet to touch pan on it and I absolutely love it. I love my MAC shadows, I really do. So I was not at all concerned about getting these. In fact, the first one that I actually picked up was the Navy Times 9 because I really love my cool tone shadows. Now I have done a get ready with me with um, this one. So I've already done a get ready with me on the Amber Times 9 and as a result actually my lovely friend Karen Chalky Cars here on YouTube she actually went and picked this one up and she loves it too. Um, I absolutely love this and I've had quite a few looks out of this and sometimes if I sit down at my desk and I'm like what am I going to do today I'll just reach for a Times 9 palette and these are just a complete look in a palette. They are beautiful. Yes there are the odd little shade in there that aren't quite so pigmented but if you're patient and you're willing to work at them and layer them up then they are most definitely worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some swatches of each palette. I'll do Amber Times 9 first so I'll be back in a second. So here we are with the swatches from this palette. So we've got decent pigmentation from those ones. The lighter colours are a little more difficult to say on me, um, these two end colours. I do have to blend them quite a bit in the crease to get a really nice sort of darker finish. You've got your nice gold tones in the middle and these dark browns are really beautiful. So that's the Amber Times 9. I really, really do love this one. These um, sort of crease shades work really quite nicely on me. And one of them is more of a peachy tone, which is this one here. And one of them is more cool toned, which is that one there. But yeah, really, really love the Amber Times 9. So let's get on to swatching the Navy Times 9. So those are the Navy Times 9. Now, I just find this palette, I love this palette. Let's just first say that. It's cool toned, it's beautiful, it's perfect. How anybody cannot love this, I mean, it's got nine little colours in there, nine little colours of perfection, and people would look at it and think, oh, but they're so small. Yes, but they just last forever, they're so amazing. So I'm really super happy, and you can see that I have been using that one. I really, really love this one. And these actually perform really, really well when swatched. The only one that doesn't perform well is that one, which is that one in the palette. 
But the thing I find funny, I was saying, is it's navy times nine, and there's really, like, where is the navy? There's, like, this really beautiful blue colour, which, oh, is the most amazing inner eye highlight. And then you've got this kind of bluey grey colour, which is stunning, and I love this colour here, which is kind of a very sort of cool tone, dark, smoky grey. Um, I kind of recommend this one if, like, people were thinking of Naked Smoky, but they were not sure, then I would recommend this one over the Naked Smoky because at least you get, like, nine different colours in it. I think the Naked Smoky kind of just all blends into each other. But I love this. I love this one in the crease. This is a great brow bone highlight. I just do a lovely smoky eye with a nice blue inner eye. And there's a black there to do liner. So this, for me, is a perfect, complete palette. And I absolutely love this one. Like I said, there's not too much in here that's not too pigmented. I'm just very fair, so the lighter shades don't show up quite so well on me, but you can still see them. So yeah, really happy with that one, and I'm going to swatch the Burgundy Times 9 next. This is the last one that I actually got. There was only four on release, and I got the other three, then I thought... I really quite like some of the colours in that one. I saw somebody use it in a video and I was like, right, I've got to get this one. And this one actually is so beautiful when you swatch it. So across the top, um, again, I'm pale, so <laughs> you'll have to excuse, but these two are amazing crease colours. Then you've got kind of this sort of glittery gold and then just some quite nice rusty copper shades in the middle and then this amazing burgundy and this gorgeous sort of pinky sort of colour there. And again, this lovely crease colour here. So I really, really love Burgundy Times 9. I actually have reached for that one a lot more than I thought I would. And I'm going to do it like I did sort of a get ready with me for the Amber Times 9 one, which has had quite a few views, actually. So I've been really pleased with that. So I think the next one I'm going to do is the Burgundy Times 9. I did film it, but then there was just a lot of noise in the background and some of it didn't go quite right. So I didn't upload that video. But this is an amazing palette and this one is super, super pretty. I absolutely love it. And like I said, I'm very, very pleased to have that one. And the last one is purple times nine, which again, this one is also really beautiful. And I'll do some swatches for that one. So those are the purple times nine. This is actually a black with sort of like, um, see it looks in the pan like it's not going to be but it's more of a black with like sort of lots of glitter ready plum glitter in it um, but these all swatch really quite nicely this icy pink at the top is really nice on the inner eye and it's also a nice brow highlight but it's just a really nice array of purples in there and I'm sorry that the swatches went a little out of control in the bottom I changed for a different brush so yes <laughs> I kind of lost control but hopefully this video has been helpful to you. No, they don't all swatch amazingly, but they do all work really well on the eye. And there's not a single one in here that I've had a problem with once applied. I always prime my eyes beforehand or use a paint pot, so that always helps. And it just helps like get pe better pigmentation and stick to the lids a lot better. You can also spray your brushes once you've got the powder on them, and that will actually make them a little bit more metallic if they're a metallic shadow, or just make them stick to the eye a lot better also. But they always apply really well and even when they don't apply so well you can actually build them up and they still blend really nicely. So I'm really really impressed with these. They've just brought a new one out, another of one of these times nine with a Magnificent Me collection which you will see me haul because I have ordered it because the swatches of it just look so beautiful. Kind of looks quite cool toned which is definitely more my thing but I have been experimenting a little bit more with warm shadows so yes i love these and i would say that some people don't think they're very good because you don't get much quality for money um sorry you don't get much value for money i do think you get value for money because there are nine shades in there and they're not all permanent um some have more permanent shades than others but hopefully you've seen on the kind of inserts that i've put in the ones that are permanent and you'll be able to see kind of like how many permanent shades are in here if you do collect mac shadows you may have a few that are in them some have more permanent shades than others, um, so it's worth bearing that in mind and checking them out, what's in them. But um, I think they're really great, and I actually didn't have very many of these colours from these palettes, so um, I was just about to start collecting some purple ones, so that's kind of mean I don't have to now because I've got these. And although the shadows are small, you still get a good amount of shadow in here and I know it seems £30 a lot for such a small palette but it is very travel friendly and I really like it and really there's the um they're not a lot smaller 
than in the Sigma Creme de Couture palette. You know, there's not a lot of difference there. Um, so, I think they're great anyway. And I just kind of wanted to do the video because I see that they don't get the best of press. Um, but this is also a good thing if somebody's just starting out with wearing MAC makeup and you're thinking of buying them a gift, then this is just a really nice gift. It's another thing with the lip palettes, which I just did a video on. These are just a nice way to get a lot of MAC products in one space for a smaller amount. If you were going to buy nine shadows and put them in a palette, then it would cost you £100. So to get nine shadows for £30 is really good. I do hope to bring out more of these sort of ready-made palettes. That would be really great because I do like those as well. And you do get good value with those because they're £65. Although I've picked both of mine up cheaper than that, which has been really good. But I do love these and I do love the colours that they've um, put in these. I think they've made some really nice choices. So that's it for today about the MAC Times 9 palettes. Do you have these? What do you think of them? And are there any of these that you have your eye on to invest in in the future? I've been Space Season 1 Girl. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you have. I'm going to love and leave you and see you in my next video. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Bye guys.